and crucifixion was the capital punishment full of shame and humiliation of that time. Hi, today I want to talk to you about the two thieves that were crucified with Jesus. Now, let me start with crucifixion. Crucifixion served as a gruesome spectacle inflicting immense pain and humiliation. Its purpose was to punish various individuals, including slaves, pirates, and those deemed enemies of the state at that time. Luke 23, 32 to 43 states that two criminals were crucified with Jesus. One of them mocked Jesus while the other defended him and acknowledged his own wrongdoing. Jesus responded to the latter by, by assuring him that they would be together in paradise. This interaction highlights Jesus' forgiveness and compassion even in the midst of his own suffering. See, many of us may not have the opportunity to express forgiveness for ourselves as the person mentioned in the story did. Therefore, whenever we have the chance, we should apologize for our sins as the end is approaching. So today I watched a video which, if true, depicted a remarkable event in Romania where stones were falling from the sky. A sight that both you and I would find fascinating. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, God promises to forgive our sins when we confess them. Although these teachings may not be commonly heard in our churches today, trust me, this is all we need to begin. Through repentance, we can align ourselves with righteousness and touch the heart of the Lord. Let us acknowledge our sins and wrongdoings and seek forgiveness and guidance from God through Jesus Christ. Because no matter how long we get to live, time will come. But it may be so hard to know. These two men, one of them mocked and the other defended Jesus. I pray that God opens our eyes even wider. So we could see more than what we see right now. Because seemingly God opened this guy's eyes. And some we recognize that the person that was being crucified with him was a different guy. Was a God himself. Was Jesus Christ. So somehow he, he knew that the person that he was actually with at that time. He was not like them. He actually told the other don't you fear God? Don't you have any fear for God? Because see, for us, we deserved that. But he does not deserve that. He said, Jesus, please remember me when you get there. And Jesus assured him, today you will be with me in paradise. I mean, we may not get that time as well. We may not get the time to say, Jesus, please remember me. But I, I think we have that very time every single day of our lives. So wake up in the morning. Don't go to bed before you repent. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. I know I might have wronged you in one or the other. But please forgive me. And if my time is near, please remind me. Give me the hunger to search you. Give me the hunger to apologize for my sins. And help me forgive those that have wronged me. That way we shall stand in the line of righteousness. May God bless us all. Amen.